Wow, today we're gonna look at some strange and rare animals which are only found right here in the Philippines. Well, we all know, of course, the Tarshir and there's this flying fox from, I think, Palawan or something like that. And uh, there's a few other animals which are kind of strange. I think there's like a mouse deer or something like that. What is interesting is to see which animals have they come up with in this video. So guys, let's jump into it right now and see the rarest animals found in the Philippines. 10 rare animals only found in the Philippines. The Philippines is not just home to beautiful travel destinations, but it's also home to <laughs> thousands of species. Of more than 50,000 species of flora and fauna in the Philippines. Wow. More than half are That's found hot. nowhere else in the world. However, there are now many endangered species in the Philippines heading to extinction oh, mostly yeah. due to the numerous huntings. Well, finally we see an animal which actually lives in the Philippines, the Tashir. I think a lot of the other animals we saw just now, they just don't live here. I mean, we don't have the prairie dog, we don't have flamingos and all that. So, guys, move on with the videos. Show us the animals that only live here in the Philippines. There are other rare animals found only in the Philippines. Let's discuss it in this video. 10. Philippine Flying Lemur or Kagwong Wow, that's a Kagwong, huh? It's the first time I've seen a picture of these. They look cute. The Philippine flying lemur or Philippine kalugo, known locally it's as so kagwong, cute. is one of two species of kalugo or flying lemurs. Well, actually, flying lemurs or flying animals of any kind are all over Southeast Asia. You can find them in Indonesia, in the Philippines, of course, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, you know. They don't actually fly because that's not what they do. They actually glide. Now they glide from one tree to the other tree, which is really nice. No? And, and this one looks cute. I like the colors on it. It is monotypic of its genus. All right. Although called a flying lemur, it cannot fly and is not a lemur. Oh, okay. Instead, it glides as it leaps among trees. Right. The kagwong belongs to the order Dermaptera that contains only two species, one of which is found in the Philippines. Oh, really? While the other, the Sunda flying lemur, is found in Indonesia. Okay. Thailand. Yep. Malaysia. And Singapore. Recent research from genetic analysis suggests two other species. The Bornean flying lemur and the Javan flying lemur mm, may okay. exist as well, but they have yet to be officially classified. 9. Philippine Crocodile Oh yeah, the Philippine Crocodile. Who can forget that? All right. Well, at least they're not going to make it into a crocodile lechon in this video. But don't forget, if you want to watch uh, my reaction to the crocodile lechon, it's in my playlist, so just have a look at my channel, okay? Maybe I should leave a link below, huh? This rare animal is found in Northern Sierra Madre. Northern the Philippine Sierra Madre. crocodile is usually seen as the bad livestock and man-eating animal. Yes. But in reality, what they usually eat, especially the critically endangered Philippine crocodile are snails that help farmers by controlling introduced pest species in their rice fields. Huh? This is among the rare animals in Philippines and in the world. Compared to other crocodiles, the critically endangered Philippine crocodile is smaller than usual which okay. is around 5 feet in length and just over 30 pounds. Population classification. Critically endangered. 8. Palau so wait, wait a second, okay, before we go to the Palawan Picaca. So you mean to say that they eat snails, these crocodiles, and not really humans and stuff like that? That's kind of interesting. Okay, well, let's go to the Palawan Peacock Pheasant. 8. Palawan Peacock Pheasant. Okay. The Palawan Peacock yeah. Pheasant is a medium-sized, up to 50 centimeters long bird in the family Phasianidae. It is featured prominently in the culture of the indigenous people of... So, the pheasant here looks quite different from many other countries. Because in Denmark, we also got pheasants, but uh, it, they got completely different colors. I guess it's because they need to blend in with the environment they live in. Ours are more like a brownish color, unlike here in the Philippines, where you, you see like blue and other colors in their, in their feathers. No? That's a pretty amazing looking bird, though, huh? I wonder, can you eat them? See, in Denmark, we eat pheasants. It's very normal, actually. It's not like you eat it all the time, but... You know, you, you can go to the butcher shop, you can buy a pheasant, that's absolutely possible, no? You can go hunting for it if you want to. Uh, I think you need a permit though. Palawan. So this the one is from Palawan. Is also depicted in the official seal of the city of Puerto Princesa. Oh, okay. So you can see the Palawan pheasant in the seal of Puerto Princesa. All right. 
the adult male is the most peacock-like member of the genus Polyplectron in appearance. Okay. It has an erectile crest and highly iridescent electric blue-violet, yeah, metallic green turquoise color. dorsal plumage. It breast and ventral regions are dark black. The rectrices are wide, flat, and rigid. Their terminal edges are squared. Each tail plume and upper tail covert is marked with highly iridescent, light reflective, acelli. The colors are absolutely amazing, guys. No, it's almost uh, as if you're looking at a, a smaller version of a peacock, isn't it? Yeah. The tail is erected and expanded look at that. laterally together with the bodies of the birds. Wow. Seven. Tom. Okay, so now we're going to something that we all know about, the tamarau. Now, I wonder if they're going to put the color bow as well. Tamarau. Oh yeah, the tamarau. Found in the island of Mindoro. Okay. Another rare animal found in Philippines is tamarau. Today, this animal is critically endangered that can soon right. be among the extinct animals in the Philippines as the tamarau, one of the endemic species uh. in the Philippines. They're not too big, are they? I mean, uh, it's not like the water buffalo or the calabao now, which are really big, right? But the tamarau is so much smaller, but it's kind of cute, you know? I just hope that they will take good care of them so that they will not, you know, die out or something like that. But I'm pretty sure there's already programs for that. At least I hope so. The tamarau critically endangered species Philippines is only found in the province of Mindoro. Oh! It features shiny black hair, backward facing horns, and a height no taller than a kindergartner but has famous tempers and will readily wield their horns against intruders. Oh, so it's got a hot temper. I had no idea. And they are really not too too tall as he said, right? It's just like a kid size, you know, or something like that. So it's, it's pretty small. I'm wondering why it's so hot tempered though. And you can only find it in Mindoro? Okay. A behavior called tusking. Six, Dinagat bushy-tailed cloud rat. Huh? The Dinagat bushy-tailed cloud rat Dinagat craterimis or Dinagat cloud rat is a species of cloud rat in the family Muridae. It is one of the eight cloud rats found only in the Philippines, and is specifically endemic to Dinagat Island. It is known locally as Hawili. I have no idea what this animal is. I've never seen it, never heard about it. I thought it was a rat, but it doesn't really look like a rat. It does look like a rodent though. A single specimen was discovered in 1975 by Dioscoro oh. S. Raber and his team during a scientific survey in Dinagat. Oh, really? The natural habitat is tropical lowland forests, which is facing environmental threats. Habitat loss is caused by progressive yeah. deforestation from heavy logging and chromite mining in the area. Almost 40 years after the original discovery, five live specimens were discovered by Malata Ahakova. Václav Ehek and William L. R. Oliver, in 2012. Really? 5. Visayan Warty Pig or Wild Pig. Oh yeah, this one is kind of famous, isn't it? The Visayan Warty Pig. Now, I think most people have heard about this one. So it's basically a wild boar, as far as I understand, right? Uh, do you eat them too? Why am I so obsessed with eating, I know, these wild animals? I mean, I'm not really looking at the wild animals. It's like, wild boar, we eat them in Denmark as well. Uh, we don't, we, what do we call them? A wild born Danish is called a Vilsween. Vilsween means a wild piglet, basically. Kind of funny, huh? We also do eat them. Uh, it's not so much, though, because we don't have too many left. And I don't even know if they're endangered. One of the rare animal found in the Philippines is the Visayan warty pig or wild <laughs> pig found across the Philippines. Looks funny. Known locally as Baboy Damo. The Baboy four Dama. wild pig species are endemic to the Philippines and are classified as near-threatened, vulnerable, and critically endangered species in the Philippines. The reason is, wild pigs are locally hunted for food. Oh, you see? Let so, I told you you could eat them. I knew it. Well, of course, why not? Because wild boars are eaten all over the world, so it should be possible, right? Let us do our part and help in protecting these wild animals in the Philippines. <laughs> four. Philippine mouse deer. Ayan. Okay, so the Philippine mouse deer is just a tiny, tiny little animal. And they have similar mouse deers in other countries, like in Vietnam, where they just discovered. And Laos also, I remember. Yes, they just discovered it not too long ago, I think about two years ago, uh, a new kind of mouse deer. So this is the Philippine mouse deer. This is also one of the rare so animals found tiny. in the Philippines. This also one of the endangered species in the Philippines is the Balabac mouse deer, also okay. known as Palandic. This rare species may only be found in Palawan, oh, really? specifically in the towns of Balabac, Bugsuk, 
Ramos, Apulit, and Calauit Islands. Mm. The reason for its decline is that palandokes are poached for food, uh, again? displaced from its habitat, due to conversion to agriculture, and sometimes subject to trade in living animals. Look at the if tea, we don't huh? protect this enough, the palandic may soon be in the list of extinct animals in the Philippines. Yeah. Three. Whale but that, that's sad, no? Let's hope that they will protect the mouse deer, no? Because they're cute, they're tiny little things. It was amazing to see how many special animals are found in Palawan. All right. Whale shark in the Philippines. Oh, yes. Whale sharks were targeted by fisheries in the Philippines through to the late 1990s. Really? In 1998, the species was protected nationally through the Fisheries Administrative Order number 193. Well, that's good. So at least it's a protected species and you can actually go swimming with the whale sharks, right? Because they don't, you know, they don't eat people, right? And that must be such an amazing experience. I mean, look at this couple, they're swimming between the whale sharks. It's like four of them around them. That's, that must be just mind blowing, unbelievable, deba. Right? Today, the Philippines is home to over 1,950 whale sharks. Wow, that's a lot. Making it the second largest known whale shark population in the world. Really? Locally known as Butanding, Tiki Tiki, Tuki, or Tawiki. Okay. The whale shark has always been a part of the Filipino consciousness. Despite the country's history of whale shark hunting, the species is seen today as an icon for tourism and is featured on the Philippine 100 peso bill. Can you touch it? Yeah, I think she's gonna try to touch it. This is so close to that whale shark. That's incredible. Two, Philippine tarsier. Oh, here we go. One of Philippine tarsier. No list of rare animals in the Philippines will be complete without the tarsier. Of course, it lives in Bohol. We all know this. So let's hear if he's got any new details to tell us about the tarsier. Of the rare animal found in the Philippines is tarsier. It is found in the island of Bohol. Prior to the development of the Philippine Tarsier and Wildlife Sanctuary, many people hunted for tarsiers. Really? The captured world's second smallest primates were being sold. Kept as pets by private individuals in environments not conducive to their lifestyle and right. survival, or killed. Because of this, the tarsiers were declared to be specially protected faunal species of the Philippines. By virtue of Proclamation No. 1030, declared by former Philippine President, Fidel V. Ramos on June 23, 1997. Hence, creating the Philippines Tarsier Sanctuary for their protection. Oh, that's good. The Tarsier just looks so cute, right? With those big eyes, it's a tiny little thing, right? And actually, you really do have to be careful with this. You should never buy one. You should never keep it at home. Because actually, that happened to me when I was in Thailand. So when I was living in Thailand a long time ago, my sister was there for a while and she went to the market and in the middle of the night, we heard a disturbance from her room. We think, oh my God, is there like an intruder or something? When we went to her room, we discovered that she had bought a tarsier at the market. And at night, the tarsier simply just went crazy, crawling all over the place. And of course, the next morning, we had to, you know, get rid of it, you know. Uh, so a good experience. Never buy wild animals that do not belong in our environment, right? Let them stay out in the wild. That's where they really belong, guys. Tarsiers are very sensitive to the point that they commit suicide when stressed. Really? If these continue to happen, Philippine tarsiers will be endangered. Yeah. The key to seeing the animals without disturbing them is to book the right guide. 1. Philippine oh, Eagle. Philippine Eagle. Found in Leyte, Luzon, Mindanao, and Samar. Right. The Philippine Eagle wow. is like Yuck. no other. With its creamy white underbellies and crown, hey, wait like a shaggy that's feathers, not a Philippine eagle. The critically endangered nope, Philippine eagle one. surely makes a regal impression. But this one of a there kind eagle are. is now in a bad position as its population is classified as critically endangered. Right. Now, it is among the top 10 endangered animals in the country. No more than 400 adult Philippine eagle endangered pairs remain in the wild. That's all 400? That's really few, huh? So this, I think, is the eagle they call the monkey-eating eagle, right? The Philippine eagle, actually, huh? The Philippine eagle conservation status began in the 1970s and since then. The Philippine Eagle Foundation has rescued over 80 eagles already. Population classification. Critically endangered.
<laughs> Look at that baby eagle. Is it gonna feed him? Yep. The special rare animals is found only in the Philippines as Chismosa. The most huh? rare animal what? in what? the Philippines is known as a Chismosa. What? They have amazing eyesight and can see up to 20 meters away. They also have good ears. This species is not endangered because it has spread throughout <laughs> the Philippine Islands. In today's technology, this Chismosa animal uses a spy camera and a drone to collect chismes from other individuals. Only in the Philippines. <laughs> what? Where did this come from? That's not a rare animal. It's a good, you know, it gives me a good laugh, but a chismoso is it's not an animal. What's going on here? Who made this video? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed learning something about rare animals in the Philippines. And basically all of them are really rare, you know, and you got to take good care of them. And, and please make sure you don't buy one and don't bring it home. They got to stay in the wild or in sanctuaries or in a zoo where we can go to look at them, right? And uh, definitely the chismoso animal, which you mentioned here is the last animal, you know, that one you can keep at home. No problem. They are not endangered at all. I wonder where he got that one from. But anyhow, anyhow, it's a lot of fun. So gave us a good laugh right here at the end of the video. And again, if you know of any other rare animals in the Philippines, why don't you leave me a comment below so I can take a look at it. All right. So as always, guys, stay safe. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you.